Welcome, everybody. Welcome, everybody. This event is called Spin 5 to 10 Minutes with Reverend James Moore, a.k.a. Spirit Man. We, we'll be quick about this today. We're talking about trust. What do you trust in? You trust in your job? You trust in your car. You trust in people. You trust in your money. Because these are things you are trusting in. I'm glad I got on here today. I'm glad I got on here. Oh, hold on a minute, because I forgot to tell you. Here we go. Sorry about that. It was just like, <laughs> we got to turn the ring off. Anyway, I'm glad I stopped by here today if you are trusting in the wrong things. Trust. You must trust in the right things, not the wrong things. Those who know the Lord trust him because he will not leave those who come to him. And that's Psalms. 9-1 N-C-V. Trust to those who come to him. Otherwise, he said, will you turn your life over to him? You already have built a trust with him because you depend on him. You don't depend on the worldly um, outcomes. You don't depend on all what goes on in the government. All these things that the enemy wants you to worry about instead of focus on who God really is. That's the problem. They want to push God aside and have your mind all twisted, worried about 
Who's going to be the next president? Who's going to be the next this? Any of these things. I know we got a lot of stuff going on with the killing, the drugs and everything. We pray for them, but we trust in God. We pray for them, but we trust in God. Amen. Don't let the enemy get to you like this. I trust in you, Lord. I say you are my God. May your my whole life is in your hands. My whole life is in your hands. Save me from the hands of the enemy. Save me from those who chasted me. And we'll pick that. That's Psalms 31, 14 to 15 NIV. Chasing me. From the enemies who chasing you. I, I'll give you a big clue. You probably know already. First of all, it's the world. It's Satan himself. And it's also yourself sometimes. Because you let doubt creep in. This doubt is not a friend of yours. No way, no how, no shape, no form. He's not a friend of yours. You can't treat him as a friend. You can't act as a friend. That's why you trust in God. Automatically, you rebuke him in Jesus' name. You rebuke him in Jesus' name. You don't give him a foothold in your life. His enemy is not for you. He's against you. He come to rob, kill, and destroy you. Anything looks like you. And for those who are not walking with Christ, listen to these words. Could work up uh, running into that proverbial brick wall and wonder why you're still in the same spot. Start crying out to the Lord God. Call on Jesus to come and save you. He's only a prayer away, a word away. See, he's better than a phone call away because if he's a prayer away, he's faster than any phone. He's faster than a lightning bolt. You got to, you know, Things like this. So you got to know this. Keep this. Keep this at hand. Yes, Lord. It's for you. It is for me. He will help me. I will look. In triumph. At those who hate me. It is better to. Take refuge in the Lord than take refuge in people. And that's Psalms 118.75 NTL. See, a lot of times we trust our life to people. We trust people to do certain things. People fail. God never fails. People fail you. People will fail you constantly. God never fails. And those God put in your life, you cherish them, especially if they blood-bought believers because they walk with Christ. They don't mean to mess up, but they even apologize when they mess up because they are brothers and sisters in Christ to you. Some of them is your husband. Some of them is your wife. Some of them is your girlfriends. However you want to put it. Trust in who God puts in your life as Christians to help better his word, <clears throat> to lead his word, to take his word. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. I trust the Lord, my God, and I know I have nothing, no one to fear. Amen. Then who looks for ways to kill me, which is where I know it's the enemy, still kill and destroy. So I thank you. Thank you for protecting me, for opening my eyes to see the truth. So I can. So I can. Battle, worry, 
and wrong thinking because this enemy wants you to get that wrong thinking going. I want to walk triumph in your ways and run to you a refuge when I am overwhelmed. Overwhelmed. God says he will be there for you if you just call on him. When you get in trouble, don't turn your back or God, run towards him. He's a refuge. You know, and those who don't about, well, what does that got to do with me right now? Here you go. You worried about paying your bills. God's a refuge. Listen to him, pray to him so he can help you. But you got to be a blood by believer he is. Don't get this twisted thing because you rub on God's lamp, which we know he ain't got a lamp. Rub on God's lamp like he's is your genie in a bottle. God's no genie in a bottle. God's our protector. God's our provider. God made us in his image. We serve God. God don't serve us. And what I mean by that, he protects us from everything if we just call on him. He shows you when trouble's coming. He even tells you when trouble's coming. He, if and you know, you walk down the street, all of a sudden, he's like, take this path here. You're like, Lord, I don't ever go that way. Go that way. He's either leading you to something to help somebody or he's steering you away from some trouble. Amen. Watch the people you have in your circle. If they're not true blood bought believers and walk with you and you know they got your back, watch. Because you got a lot of Judas's out here. We don't do Judas. We do Jesus. Get it? <laughs> I just wanted to take this time. I told you this is a five, ten minute message. Um, God laid this on my heart. Actually, yesterday, to start doing these. So you'll see me pop up now and then doing these. Um, so this is the first one for the season. And Jesus is the reason. Amen. I sp I'm glad to spend this time with you, these few minutes with you. Remember this, God loves you no matter where you are. If you're not walking with him, he still loves you. So don't get that wrong. But he wants to see you walk the way he needs you to walk, not where you want to walk, you know, and watch what you take as idols. Your job could be your idol. Your money could be your idol. Your car could be your idol. <clears throat> your house could be your idol. Watch these things you put as idols. Oh, suppose there are no idols. Our God's a jealous God, but he loves you. He wants to see you do good. Amen. So I say to you at this time, it was nice talking to you. We'll be back occasionally to leave you a good message. But I thank you for your time. And everybody in Jesus' world, the Jesus' world, say amen. Amen. Amen.